Grab the fucking mic, bro. Know is, right? <laughs> of course I know who he is. I'm a fan, man. man. Yes. I wore your shirt in the movie before. In a, on the cover of um, Three Strikes. That's right. A- absolutely, yeah. You yeah, we, I remember that was a, That yeah. was about uh, 10 years ago, right? Ooh, longer than that. 97? Really? That was 97. That was 97. Oh, wow. Can yeah. get closer to me? Get closer to him? What you, for what? Right oh. Oh, okay. So thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, this is Faze. I wanted to have Faze on co-host this episode with me because we started together. Me and him started together. Okay. Back when we were we were young. But where did I meet you before? You know, it's a small world. Mm. So it's either here in Miami or New York. I mean, that's the whole right. country. <laughs> What's crazy, crazy is that the our business, the entertainment business, has shifted so much. Right. It's just it's shifted so much. Like your crew on your show, the Shark Tank show. Yeah. It's like you guys are like characters now. Yeah. But you probably didn't plan on that. N- not at all. It's business theater. And they say that everybody plays a character. So um, I laugh and I smile a lot, but you'll never see that on the show, right? And a lot of those pictures are two hours long. And I'll say, well, guys, why, why are you not cutting, you know, editing one out and laughing? And they're like, you're not supposed to laugh. So those pictures sometimes can be two hours. That's really, and we are really negotiating. It's re- mm. really our money. We have no idea about who these people are. Mm. He was always famous, but never a star. Remember that line? Because you were always, I always heard about you. It was all from Fubu Days. Queens. That's who you're from. Yes, I am. Wow. No brothers, no sisters. No brothers, no sisters. So you're like LeBron James, kind of. A little bit. <laughs> Why would I well, be Well, because like he grew up as he grew he up. He play basketball. No, but he was just like kind of a, 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 a you know, an only no child? siblings, no siblings. Yeah, I was oh. only child, but I wasn't like him. I was I don't play basketball. But you, I'm but short. he was, but he was roughing it. You were roughing it when you first started. You didn't come yeah. from money. No, not at all. And why did I? Why did I think you were Damon Dash? Yeah. Yo, yeah. Stop playing. Well, no, I'm just trying to Yo, get to the thing. I like to apologize for my white friend. Yeah, no problem. So, so you got the show. You got the show in 2009. Is that when it was? Uh, yeah, about 2009. 2000, yeah, right. So it's crazy. 2008, I think the show started. Yeah, 2008. But that's crazy. Like you didn't think that. This, how did this whole thing come about? They called me, and uh, you know, I think that Mark Burnett and the producers saw me, uh, you know, on I believe uh, the, the the big idea with Donnie Deutsch. And they said, you know, you know how to break down a pitch, and do you want to come out here and invest your own money on a bunch of ideas? And I said, uh, yeah, I need a trip to LA. Uh, so I came out, and I never thought it would it would work. Who who would want to who would care about you know four or five business people mm. talking crap? Mm. And uh, six years later, about to shoot our seventh year is uh, it's amazing, having a good time. And how often do you guys shoot it? We shoot it. Uh, it takes us about a month to shoot the show. You just kind of bang them out. That's it. Bang them out. Yeah. Yeah. Mary with kids? No, divorce. Wow. Yeah. How many kids? Two girls. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So me and Faison, again, don't speak. We're both your age. Uh-huh. We both don't have kids. Really? No, we real, we both don't have kids. We both pull out a lot. Oh. We pull out a lot. Really, we really? pull out a lot. So, so really. I, all I hear I didn't, from... I, I stayed in there for a while. I didn't, I all didn't. I... All I hear from people like yourself that have kids is the best thing in the world. It is. I mean, I think that you get to, you know, you get they challenge you. You know, it's not predictable. They don't work for you, and they don't, uh, they don't need to to be a certain way. And you, you see yourself growing up through them, where you see mistakes you've made, and uh, you know you have something, uh, t- something to live for. So what do you think about because you know you got the Snapchat and you got the and you got the Instagram yep. and you got all this stuff like when we were growing up that wasn't around absolutely you but you're better. obviously super successful without all that stuff because your social media is probably big but that's not your main thing you no know? no no social media is by the by far the the way of the world is technology mm-hmm. it's it's very very important and every single day we uh, you know. Go out and learn it every single day. I learn what's new. So we're like periscope. The, we're do you do periscope? Yeah, Meerkat or periscope? Yeah. Are you doing that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And so what is periscope? Because I haven't started doing periscope it. Periscope is when you basically live broadcast. It's the Truman Show. Basically, you put it on right there, and it plugs into your Twitter, and then 
the first 250 people can actually respond to you mm. and everybody else is just watching your broadcast. Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, you got to be able to convert it. Yeah. Have you ever had a celebrity come on your show and pitch? Yeah. Who, who's been on your show that's pitched you an idea? Jimmy Kimmel has been on the show. But for real, but not joking? Oh. Uh, Dude, that's not like a joke. Like, I want to yeah, 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 come serious to you right now with something. Oh. All right. Okay. This is something that I've been working on for a while, and I wanted to come on your show and somehow figure out the right way to do it. Okay. Now, you heard of Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Yes. You heard of Cabo Wabo. Sure. So I wanted to do Weasel's Bar and Grill. The menu says grindage. Pauly Shore's Weasel's Bar and Grill. So what do you think about that idea? Could wow. be good. So here's the deal. So you have a producer that I, my people or I can get in touch with to at least pitch it to them. Yeah, I don't know how they get the people on the show. They do an open casting in certain cities, or they'll they'll go to a magic show, a trade show, and pick somebody, or they'll they'll randomly uh, see somebody on TV, uh, a, a good story, and say, yeah, "Oh, it's we want to come be on." Because if we know people, if they come on the show, they're automatically disqualified. You didn't give me the numbers on the business, but I would have to say on the show, "Hey, I know you, but we can't know the business." Oh, you don't know the business. Yeah, we can't know the right. details of the business. So thanks for coming and sitting down with me. <laughs> man, thank I you, man. I appreciate it. I had a, I had a fun right. time with your guys, man. Thank All you. All right, I'm out. Later, bro. All right, I'm out.